What is happening there, Reject Nation? We are here to watch Umbrella Academy, episode six of season three, after that cliffhanger revealing that Mojo Jojo is back. Mojo Jojo. Yes, that's his name, right? Definitely. Mm hmm. Pogo, we know go, go. everything. Pogo's from Powerpuff Girls, you moron. You right. All right, guys. Taking my monkey straight. Leave a like. <laughs> leave your thoughts down below on what you think about this episode. Subscribe and click that bell to get notified when our reaction for the next Umbrella Academy is up. Full length watch alongs. We sync up with the time code or our Patreon page. Become a super sexy reject today by checking all we got to offer. And thanks to the Prepper Boys for helping us edit this down. Yeah, right. You catch your breath. You know, you, you can hear your nose breathing into the microphone. What this? What that? Is that better? <laughs> That's what we should do. This. You know <laughs> That's what you guys came here for. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Just because something is right in front of you does not mean hey. it is within reach. Oh, damn. There's always something in the way. Looks great. Sometimes it is your opponent. Sometimes it is yourself. Facts. It's usually yourself. <laughs> Thanks for calling me out, Pogo. Get the bell. Oh, it doesn't look as fucked up there. It looks less wrinkly. That's cheating. Okay, I guess tentacles don't count. Matrix. Oh, you guys are ruining the dojo. Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, it's your life. Ben, that's enough. Let her go. Jamie. <laughs> What's that face? That's enough. No. Jamie will let us know when she's had enough. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Stab him. Do it. Yeah, father, you like that? Smart work. Ring that bell. Very good, child. Very good, child. Suck it, squid boy. <laughs> yeah, squid boy. We never know what we're truly capable of until we're forced to confront our own extinction. And as their sensei, it is my job to make sure they never have to. Then you overestimate yourself. Is that foreshadowing? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sending them to the other side now would be suicide. You've grown too attached, my old friend. Lost your objectivity. And you've grown so detached, you've lost your humanity. What humanity? Ooh. Ooh. You forget yourself, Pogo. Okay, that's the hard They're my children. Have. And they will do whatever it is I ask of them. If you disapprove, perhaps you might find other employment. Become a tattoo artist. Why wait? You can be gone in an hour. Damn. Oh, wow. They're really attached to him. Oh, crap. Are you guys going to make us care about them now? You son of a gun show. What is that? I think that's the, the, the sedate Hargraves pills. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, there's our umbrella. There, I see the umbrella. Ah. You guys were quick to point out how we totally missed it in one episode. <laughs> <laughs> it was like half the comments. <laughs> you and I have met before, back in 1963, when you were a diaper-wearing chimp. Time to go home to mommy. Well, guy. Or what? 
That's crazy. <laughs> Not as crazy as that monkey talking. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I don't even question it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> or that. Hmm. That's America's ass. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Uh, I did not realize the world was that messed up right now. Ooh, you think they'd be on the news or something. Everyone has their own vibration, like a sonic fingerprint. What's mine sound like? Wrong. <laughs> Ouch. Damn. The others are right. We have to face this kugel blitz. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, well, you have till tonight. Otherwise, I swear to God, I'm going to rumor your ass to come back with me, okay? Yes, yeah. Don't mess with me, Tiny. That's what Aaron calls me. Every day. Tiny. <laughs> so I greet him on the phone. What's up, Tiny? <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel less than. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel more than. <laughs> You're stress eating like you do. I'm not. All right. What? What's really going on? I had a fight with my sibling. Which one? A couple of them, actually. <laughs> there is one thing I'm a thousand percent sure about. Your math isn't great. But we can work with that. That's nice. <laughs> ben needs a word. Great. I'll be down in, in ten. Not with you. <laughs> Him. Smooth. Oh. Hey, Faye. How's it going? How did you know? We share a wall. Your yeah, bed squeaks. Yeah, nasty. Get me up all night. <laughs> nice, Luther. <laughs> Who likes to move it, move it. <laughs> you like to move it. <laughs> Stan. Stanley. Oh, my God. Does he turn into a cockroach? Oh, rank. Oh, oh nope. you killed your son. That'd be really messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, boy. That's some spooky shit. It's a trippy ass room. Yeah. Stan's lucky liner. Do you think he went in there? Yeah, of course he did. No wow, that was a dumb question. Don't to resist a mystery tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better be at the end of this. I'm gonna be pissed. Is your bright idea to go into this murder hole? Fascinating. Mm. We just go in a circle. I don't or, think so. Or an alternate dimension. Oh. Oh shit, that's crazy. <laughs> Shoot. What the hell's going on here? Things just got interesting. Beneath the wind, every living thing has an energy wave, a sound of its own. Uh, I, 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 I can't. Concentrate. I want you to hear it. That's a cool effect. That's trippy that he's training her. Harlan, stop! It's too much! That wasn't a rumor. No, there's something else going on here. You wouldn't be risking your life like this. Look, whatever it is, you can tell me. You don't have to be here. Oh no. Don't push her away. Well, I don't have anywhere else to go. It's not wrong. But I'm not going to stand here and watch you try to kill yourself. What is Victor trying to do? Trying to take Carlin's powers away. Yeah, but what's the deeper thing that Allison's picking up on? That he feels guilt because Harlan killed their parents. And she oh, wants yeah, to take yeah, okay. responsibility. Yeah, yeah. God, Greg. No, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I remember that. I didn't know that that's what he was talking about or that's what he was concealing. About. I was like, is there some a bigger plan that I don't know about? <laughs> What's with your family's weird brother Ben fetish? He, you, were the best of us. The Jennifer incident. The what? Was, it doesn't matter. Just know that we were never the same without you. Jennifer incident? I'll take every second of whatever version of you we've got. I'm not him, you moron. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm highly aware. <laughs> 
deny it. But he's in there. <laughs> I've already had one big dumb brother telling me what to do. I don't need another, but the team might. Grace? Got another prediction. Are you all right? Of course. Why do you ask? Open it. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Are you serious? I'd rather have him with us than against us. Aren't you going to try it on? You're about Marcus's size. No, he's not. I'm honored. Really, I am. I just... I'm still an umbrella. <laughs> what the hell is that? Wouldn't you like to know? I would like to know, too, I would ben. definitely like to know. We'd all like to know... You have some longer con here. I'm just waiting for your your character arc, man. It's gonna happen. It's gonna get there eventually. Ooh. Damn, how long have you been following Pogo? Damn. It's been on the how Pogo. How far away does Pogo live? It's been on the <laughs> Pogo trail. It looks like my work, but I never did that tattoo. Not yet you haven't. I cut it off my hundred year old self. Ah, so desperate it is. You would be too if you knew the entire universe were at stake. So it's happened. Pogo so cool. <laughs> I didn't respect much about the old man, but I respected that. Hoo-ha was not his thing. Alien language, perhaps? I don't know, but he referred to it as Project Oblivion. Say what? I need you to help me understand certain things. Why you locked me in a mausoleum and slowed down my heart rate until I came to in a pool of my own vomit. Damn. <laughs> On the bicycle showed me, but she might be God. She might be the devil. <laughs> to say, I don't know which is which. You are marvelously deranged. Sit. <laughs> it's fascinating. I don't know this actor's name, but the difference between what we saw in the flashback and how he's playing him now is so it's it's so small, but it's 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 there. It's prevalent. Yeah. It's, he's great. It's phenomenal. Come on. Hello. It's Asian here. Hotel Oblivion. Hotel Oblivion. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, damn. Trudy's gonna kill me. Who's Trudy? Stan's mom. Wait. What? Yikes! You liar. Stan, he's not our child. Oh my. <sighs> that is so messed up. That's awful. Everything is fascinating. Ever since you weaned me off those damned pills, I'd like to return the favor. Help you to understand who you really are. Mm. Would you like that? <laughs> Maybe not naive, but kinder. Other than a probiotic yogurt that doesn't make me fart. And get <laughs> over here, boy. Aw. I like nice hard grapes. Don't go back to being mean, please. He probably has some ultimate plan. Definitely. Always has something up his sleeve. Uh, what are you doing back there? Part one of your healing. Experimentation. Are you going to board like kill him again? So you can experiment him again? Oh, frick. Now that he's off his pills. It's off his rocker. That's why I gave the children those pills. To keep them safe from him. Well, my druggy brother just got him sober. And Project Oblivion is starting again, and you are all in danger. What is he doing? I should probably get that ink. Complete the loop. Are you sure? Oh, I don't think Destiny cares whether I am or not. Mm. It's just cruel, ain't she? Pogo's freaking ripped, dude. I know, right? <laughs> get started. Begins. Why is he getting the tattoo now? Complete the loop. Ah. Uh. You know how bees find pollen? The bees use the hairs on their body to detect the interaction between the fields. They can hear the pollen. Really? What? You need to stop listening with your ears. With your senses, listen with your feelings. He is the force, Victor. <laughs> I 
Do you think Ray's still alive? No, definitely not. <laughs> He's just really, really old. I'm sure we probably would have gotten along just fine. Hmm. More than fine, she would have loved you. The way that I loved you. The way I still love you. Aww. I love you too, baby. Oh. And you know I'm always gonna love you. Please stop. Why? Because you're not real. Don't say that. The Ray I know died nine years ago at the age of 82. I looked <gasps> it up. Well, I Damn. hope I had a good life. Mm, you're right. I can't get back to you or Claire. You're both gone forever, and it's like you were never real. No matter when or where you are, we're both always going to be with you, so you have got to do what it takes to survive this. Promise me. The memories are real, Allison. I like how they kept the sound of the chain moving on the swing the whole time he was talking. Oh, did they? I didn't notice yeah. that. Yeah, it was kind of distracting, but I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got sucked in, bro. I was like, yeah, memories, they're, <laughs> they're with you. Oh, what the what is happening? Victor. You guys are doing a great job. <sighs> Whoa. Looks like Shang-Chi versus the Mandarin. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. Is it working? I think so. Yeah. Damn. How do they always just land on their feet? They didn't. They totally, like, but they landed first. Like, they went like that. They didn't Stranger Things, did it here. I feel like you'd, like, fall on your ass first. Hey. Harlan. We did it. He's okay. Okay? Hey. Hey. He's okay. Now you can tell Allison and kill yeah. your family. Now kill him. <laughs> <laughs> So Stan is adopted, okay? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I was adopted, I, I turned out pretty well. No, I'm not adopted. I borrowed him from my mate Trudy for a week. <laughs> Lila, did you kidnap a kid? She went on holiday and he needed some fun. And I wanted to see what kind of dad you'd make. You know, stress test, kicking tires. Are you insane? <laughs> I hate this. This hits close to home, man. I don't like it. <laughs> Deserves better than this. Sonny's in on it. Jesus. Wow. Ah! You got a per perverted way of thinking. He's already in here having a laugh. We just need to- Forget it. I'll deal with this myself. Well, we should probably stay in one place. What if he wanders by? Wow. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must be from Florida, bro. I swear. It's okay. I know why you don't like me. <gasps> no, you don't. No, you freaking know. I don't like the hold you have on my brother. It's because of what I did to all of you. Why is he <clears throat> confessing this? Because he thinks that Why Victor do I told. Think that? Uh, why? I, he I assumes that Victor told them. Victor told you. <laughs> oh, yikes. About the mothers. Oh, yes. I thought Victor told him that he, he wouldn't say something. I don't think so. I You're don't the think reason so. they're all dead. It was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt them. You're the reason Claire's dead. My power spilled over. I got in my And the head. reason the whole world is ending. I, I couldn't stop myself. Victor knew. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> don't do something crazy. Sorry is what you say when you spill a glass of milk, not obliterate somebody's child. Oh, no. This is not good. What are you going to do? Don't do nothing stupid. Don't rumor him. Please don't do nothing. I'm nervous. Oh shit. Hey, 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 no! Oh, what is this hotel? Fascinating. We need to get out of here. Not without staying. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> 
Are you kidding me? Oh no. Go, go, go. It's a Reaper? <laughs> you had to get back to that door, homie. You go back to that that portal. What is that? Mmm. Oh. Stanley just in the room. He's totally behind them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Where the hell were you? What? The kid doesn't have time to get a slushy in a slim jump. <laughs> 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 oh, it was obsidian on that side. Yeah. Oh. Stanley! God damn. No! That was pretty sweet, but like, damn. Man, that sucks losing your fingers like that. Yeah, man. You gotta go back for those. Put those on ice or something. Get them sewn back on. Dang. <laughs> that what you wanted. This is done. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah. <gasps> she killed him? She freaking killed him? Did she, like, actually murder him? Oh my god. Oh, jeez. He's in the suit! Oh, what the frick? Yikes. No, bro. This can't be real. Is this? No. <laughs> Tensions rising. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my god. This is crazy. I'll get this out of the way. This is bananas. Ben did not bother me. He didn't bother me this episode. <laughs> he didn't bother me at all. He wasn't as angsty. He was like, all right, not a bad, not a bad Ben. Even though oh, he's more. nowhere near the highlight of this episode <laughs> or getting, the focus. No. He, but I was, we just saw him, I'm like, hey, you know, just on on me. He didn't hey, bother me at all this yeah. episode. <laughs> Allison didn't bother me, th bother me this episode either. I was like, okay, all right, they're getting a little better. I know some people who just, like this whole season, hmm. Still don't mess with them? Oh, Allison. Allison, really? She didn't bother me as much this season. You know what? As yep. much as we've been complaining about this season, the one thing I do think I appreciate is the fact that she's been rumoring a lot more than previous seasons. Yeah. She's actually using her power, which I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. If she had a Twitter, <laughs> <laughs> she like audio rumor stuff. I heard a rumor that, you know, Hugh Jackman's in the next MCU movie. Can't, can't, can <laughs> she make shit like that happen? She just controls the narrative of Hollywood yeah. <laughs> from her phone. You can. Stupid powerful. All right, let's talk about it. Yeah, I like that episode. I liked it a lot. I think it's been the best episode so far. It's a pretty great one. I like this season overall. I do. Um, like, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> like, when I don't like it, when I'm not liking it, I'm really not liking it. And then when I'm liking it, I'm really liking it. So whatever the lasting feeling is, is the feeling I associate with the season, basically. <laughs> so if I'm like, if I don't really like an episode, I'm like, man, this season. <laughs> and then if I don't really like it, I'm like, that's a good episode. It's, it's, always, good been season. The, it's always been the even so far. So True. We're about to hit an odd. I mean, there are people who love every episode. But and it's interesting living in this superhero age because everyone seems to be on the same page about multi-dimensions and right? smashing shit together and multiverses. Time. That's what Timelines. Everything is doing, even freaking Superman and Lois is doing it right now. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of crazy to see how everything's been doing that. And uh, I do like how they are mixing things up. You know, there's some stuff I could feel could use a little bit more, you know, meat to really motivate certain choices. Uh, like, like like Luther putting on the Sparrow outfit. Like I know you like the Sparrows and you're really in, and you're really in love with Sloane, and maybe that's enough to motivate it. Uh, I still feel like I could use something that really demonstrates like you know the Sparrows are something better to join yeah. than, there's than no, the umbrella. There's no defining like turning point for him to be like okay. I've had enough of my family. I need to yeah. switch sides. Yeah, let me fix this for you. So, so the crackling. You can hear the crackling. Hey. There you go. There, it's better. Okay. Yeah, there's no defining thing. Of, oh, that does sound a lot better. Yeah, yeah. you can hear it now. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's really directional. Um, yeah, so I, I, that's kind of the thing that was a little missing for me. But 
Um, I like what it does as a plot maneuver uh, for creating some tension with our characters. 100%. No, I think it's... um yeah, I think it, it's really interesting the way the season's been playing out, you know, especially as we're getting into the crux of what's actually going on. Like we had the introduction of the, the Googleplex or whatever the frick it's called. Kugel. Kugel. Kegelplex. Kugel Blitz. Kugel Blitz. Yeah. Something like that. Kegel uh, Blitz. The Wetzel Kugel Pretzel. Blitz. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I think uh, I, I like how each of our characters are are growing and exploring these different aspects of themselves that have kind of brought them to this point that feels it's starting to feel a little bit more natural like i know the beginning i felt was like a little rocky but now we're starting to get into places that make sense for these characters and yeah i think the foundation of my enjoyment of these this show has been from the characters that we have been following like granted the plot only elevated that but i think even if the show is not firing in all cylinders, the characters themselves will make it work for me. Uh, like this season hasn't been my favorite season that we've seen so far, but I've never not enjoyed it overall. Like I'm, the characters are enough to make me still want to continue to watch and watching where everybody is and the motivations they have for why they're doing what they're doing really uh, elevates how we're uh, going about things like i really enjoying the the klaus and hargrave stuff i like seeing five unite with pogo again uh allison is starting to become a real threat because of the pain she's she's going through and we're seeing a, a whole new layer to her which we didn't really get to see her as like a forefront character mm-hmm. in previous seasons which granted no matter how you feel whether she's like a little too angsty or you're into this new direction uh it's starting to affect the plot in in meaningful ways in big ways like i'm pretty sure she killed harlan or just like whoa you know like she's not i don't ever know her to be like a straight up murderer before not that we've seen thus far yeah well i mean maybe she didn't kill him but just rumor him to be unconscious or something his eyes were open though yeah rumor him to be like i heard you were unconscious with your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> i heard you played dead <laughs> i try to give uh benefits of the doubt but no i could see her killing I mean, I get it. Her, her, her whole reality, she's, she's since the beginning of the show, because there are people who really hate her this season, and maybe she just gets worse. Um, but I, I could see how her mind broke because, you know, out, out of anyone in this, if, if I'm not mistaken, like from the first season, you know, she was the, she was like an actress who was like a working, like as a, as a famous person. Yeah, and then she, she made it the best out of all of them. Yeah, and then when she goes back in time, she finds love and becomes racism. a... And finds racism <laughs> didn't exist before. <laughs> Active she, she racism. Uprooted it, found it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so she's always... So she found love and, and she, yeah, because I remember things were going to go with her. She was like separated from her husband or something in the first episode, first season or, yeah. or divorced. But she had her kids, so she lost like her child and the love of her life and the spouse and then I could see her mind like shattering just completely breaking to the point of like I I, I guess out of all things I've been critical of of not loving a, a lot of certain choices I've weirdly adjusted to Allison faster than I feel like a lot of people have I'm like no I kind of get it you I, know <laughs> yeah I think it clicked for me in this episode we're like granted I did have my issues with how the character was moving and her her actions but i i, I knew that it was stemmed from a point of pain but seeing ray and her on the the swings really hit it home for me and i think that re- made me realize why i haven't really been liking ben so much this season is because all of the sparrow academy we we don't know much about them outside of what we're seeing in the present so they haven't anchored them in a point of empathy for us to like them or dislike them because we don't i mean granted we dislike them but like we don't have like not, they don't feel fleshed out. They don't feel like people. They just feel like some sort of opposition without depth to them. Well, that's why I like the Hargraves reveal here that it, it, I think it's really cool how they managed to take that meaningful thing of Klaus and Hargraves bonding with each other to Klaus helping out Hargraves and the way you see it in the lens of the Umbrella Academy, at least from Klaus's perspective especially, is that they are abusing Hargraves yeah. and they are taking advantage of him and, and suppressing him because the Sparrow Academy is all evil and then come to find out that they were actually doing probably the best choice inspired by uh, Pogo to suppress him because he's truly 
evil. <laughs> and he's got a real kind of mess. Like, I don't really understand the details of no. of this Oblivion plan. They wouldn't give but it's enough, called yeah. Oblivion. Right. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it, can't it can't be good. It can't be a good thing <laughs> have going on. And, and he, even in the way Hargraves is acting and going back to his old self, like, I think that's a cool... It's it's rather insidious in the way everything was kind of creeping up where, you know, Klaus reunites with Hargraves in this episode and it seems like it's going to be really tender, but like, oh my god, he's back to being all messed up again. Yeah. And then seeing the flashbacks prior to, you know, when, when Pogo was still around, that Hargraves really is, he's, he's actually worse in this timeline. Yeah. He's, he's worse than he was before, whereas like the whole time they've had us fooled that Hargraves is actually a better human being but he's not he's actually a, a worse person yeah and, and i think that's a really neat reveal be like oh crap he's actually evil and klaus actually messed us all up <laughs> <laughs> you know and i i think that is a really cool twist uh to to throw on us and i and back to the Luther thing really quick the only the thing that saves it is the fact that i like his chemistry with sloan and i really like tom Ho uh, hopper's performance a lot i think it's just a really strong performance yeah and um yeah, I mean, Vanya and Victor, no, uh, uh, no, messed that up. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> Victor, and, I'm adjusting, I apologize. We're just, all right, we're all... Okay, Victor and, and Harlan, right? There you go. Yes, keeping up with a bunch of names here. Victor, <laughs> Harlan, and um, I... I guess I'm just remembering it wrong. I, I I could have sworn that Victor told Harlan that to not say anything and that he wasn't gonna say something. That Victor said he wasn't gonna say something, but I don't know. I, I guess I just remembered it wrong. I think yeah. I think he just said that he was gonna keep Harlan safe. I don't think he ever said that he was gonna not say anything to the other. Uh, Umbrella Academy. Or I think when they left off, Victor said, "I'm. Uh, I'll tell them." But I don't think Victor told that told Harlan that he never actually said anything. Yeah, which you know added to the the complexity of of these characters' dynamics and the fact that Victor already harbors in so much guilt for all the things mm -hmm. that he's done over the course of the season. So he just blames himself for yeah their moms getting killed, which is why he wouldn't say anything. Both because he blames himself and because he cares for Harlan because it's his the love of his life's son. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Shit happens, man. <laughs> Get over it. Uh, and then this whole thing with Diego and Lila. I didn't realize it wasn't called Oblivion from the start. It was, what was it, Obsidian? And mm -hmm. then the other side is Oblivion, Hotel Oblivion. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I hope they explain it because that was confusing as shit. It looks like obviously you know, alternate dimension, but like yeah. I don't know what's going on over is there it? or what that Reaper kind of character is. Yeah, I wonder if that's the next step for the show because we've gone to we've gone back in time, we've gone to alternate timelines. I wonder if it's multiverse now, alternate dimensions. Maybe that's season four. I mean, it's clearly an alternate dimension. Yeah, you know, or it's just the other side of the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> the exclusive side, the VIP side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean, the thing with Lila and the whole thing about Stanley not being his actual kid. That was messed up. That's man. really messed up, man. Yeah. I really uh, like them as father and son, too. Yeah, man. As someone who's uh, experienced something similar to that, that really, uh, that really hit me. <laughs> in the you raised a kid? No, I got, I got, I thought I was going to have a kid to find out I wasn't having a kid. That's for another time, though. Sounds like a different story. It, it, it felt similar. You know what I'm mean, talking about? I, I know it's what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> she told him that it was his kid, and then it wasn't his kid. Yeah. I need to clarify, because people are probably going to... Can I clarify a little bit here? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone basically told Aaron that they were going to have a kid, but it was a lie just to test Aaron out. And Aaron... It was had a been, prank. Aaron had been fooled for quite a significant amount of time <laughs> into thinking this was really going to happen. But this person then confessed that they only did it to... To test my character. To test to see, yeah. <laughs> Which is what Lila did, <laughs> to test Diego's yeah. character. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I didn't want it to sound like it was something else. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it could sound like something else. Okay, <laughs> so, that's, fair. Yeah. that's fair. Yeah, but yeah, that is that is yeah. what happened. The 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 abridged version of what happened. But yes, yeah. yeah. Um, so I I get you on that. I thought it was funny. <laughs> what happened to you? Not them. Yeah, yeah of course, naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was laughing on the inside, but uh, uh, going crazy on the outside. Uh, so no, that is so that is so messed up. That is messed up. I don't, I don't understand the point of her doing that. Yeah, I don't know. Like she's been around for decades. Right. Like what? I don't know, man. But you know, at least it brought them back together. And our, our little homeboy's dead, or he's gone for right now. You know, Kugel Blitz. Kugel Blitz. He got blitzed, but he died with like the perfect landing of a slushy, which I was very impressed by. Yeah, I I don't I'm I'm waiting to see how a lot of this pans out, but I like the direction it's going now, especially now where more of the cards have been revealed. Have now that there's a mystery and like we actually are starting to find out like what's actually going down or there's there's an, there's a level of intrigue beyond the characters at this point yeah and there's also like a lot of twists and turns and like pogo coming back and knowing more that the fact that because pogo had always been loyal to hargraves yeah but in this timeline for pogo to leave you know because hargraves is so far gone from being anything remotely human mm -hmm. um yeah, um, I think my question at this point is, why would Hargraves raise, continue to raise a superhero team like he did in the original timeline, just for him to have some sinister ulterior motive? Well, that's what we got to find out. We, oh yeah, I mean, we haven't seen the episodes yet, so I'm just like, can a man ponder? Can a man, <laughs> can a, man a lot of questions? Yes. <laughs> can a man ponder? <laughs> can a man wonder? Not in this day and age. <laughs> Thoughts get you canceled now, man. <laughs> you better be careful with what you ponder. <laughs> what you ask questions about? <laughs> Too many damn questions up in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but no, he did. What did he? He said something at the beginning of the the episode, like prepare for extinction or something like that. Or True. Like, prepare True. for the end. Which is like clearly foreshadowing to something. So he, the oblivion, obviously. But what does that mean and why? You know, we know that he's an alien. They haven't really touched or talked about that at all in this season. But I figure that's going to come something into play with what we're going to see going forward. In I the mean, next, that's like, what the episode. That's what the oblivion plan entails, and that must be what the when when Pogo was showing like. You know, um, some type of alien symbols and language in front of him. Uh, I'm going to sit him with five. And then even at one point, you know, he does say, like, what humanity? When Pogo is arguing with him. Mm -hmm. So there's some hints of that there's more to come to unveil about that. But I'm, I'm liking it. I am. I do like it. And, uh, yeah. you know, there's often a very black and white thinking when it comes to how people perceive opinions on YouTube <laughs> or in general uh, but no overall I am liking it and uh, I'm not I don't I don't dislike it you know there have been some things that have been pretty hit or miss for me uh, more so than the other seasons but overall I still I'm still enjoying it and I still want to finish it yeah it's uh it's great it's, it's only turning up the heat not as fast as the other seasons did but you know now that we're here now that we're literally in the middle in the thick of it yeah. I'm like yeah man I can't wait to, to see where we go can't wait to see how this ride turns out. You got a third one? Saying. You got a third one? Can't wait to see how uh, how uh, the, the gang flips it around. No, was it Can a man ponder? <laughs> 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 Can a man have some time to think of a better one? <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Well, thank you for being here. Thanks, Aaron, for stopping on by. Now you got a busy schedule yourself. Guys, what'd you think? Leave your thoughts down below. Hey, we will uh, catch you all soon. But after this, Patreon. <laughs> Ricardo Martinez. Ricardo. Ricardo, do you know what your name means? Do you? Um... It means King Richard with Will Smith. No, you, you, oh, you fucking moron. Sorry, Ricardo. Idiot. I'll keep your name out of my mouth. This is why our dynamic doesn't change. <sighs> you don't do research on things that you don't know I'm going to talk about. 
You know, that's the best way to get spontaneous reactions. Yeah. To things. That's how you, you catch people in the know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, in the, in the know how. Yeah. Ricardo means king, ruler, and hard brave. Oh, my guess was half right. No, you weren't even close. Aww. Well, you are a king and ruler of all the Latinos at our Patreon page yes. because. I think you're like one of two people that we shout out regularly. King Cardo. Who have a Latino name. And it's hard and brave to be part of our Patreon page, Ricardo. Not many people decide to do it. Million subs and only a couple thousand, two thousand, yes. So you have taken the brave leap here. You. I hope you keep those pesos on auto roll. Oh! oh! John told me to say that joke. That's Not me. That's right. Not me. Now say the one about the talk. Goes. No, I don't want to do Say the, the burrito about. joke. Next. I don't want to do the burrito joke's really offensive. Do the do the some the, do the mariachi joke. I can't do the mariachi joke. Do the Ricardo. sombrero. Wear it. Wear the sombrero. I returned the sombrero to Amazon. Say something about the border. And the border is something I agree with, Ricardo. Do you still want to be pledged? <laughs> End of show. No. <laughs> Stop that. We gotta bring it back. We gotta bring it back, Ricardo. Uh, I'm just kidding, Ricardo. You are the king. Ricardo, I hope you're enjoying some tacos today. Go get yourself a black bean quesarito from Taco Bell. Oh, I hope oh. that for your next birthday, you got an awesome mariachi band Definitely. playing there Cucaracha. for you. Loud and proud at Woo. one in the morning in a neighborhood some full of white people where yeah. they call the cops and complain about gang bangers in their neighborhood. Ah, oh, low rider. And uh, hey, if you need some family to cross the border, go on right ahead. I support this. Let's go to a Dodgers game. Yeah, that works. Stereotypes of comedy. We've spent a long time <laughs> saying <laughs> terrible We're things here, Ricardo. We're to see how far we can push you before you decide to unpledge. <laughs> no, thank you for being here, bud. Hopefully you, you picked up on the fact that John's just being sarcastic and I'm being 100% sincere.